Good afternoon and welcome to the movie review with Uncle Renz at Uncle Renz Popcorn. This is the deep diving review of the movie Captain America Civil War. Now for anybody who don't like spoilers, I'm not going to go deep into it, but you might not want to watch the video. So here's the deal. So in the Captain America Civil War movie, it is one of Marvel's best story arc that they were able to tell. They were Their use of characters, being able to bring in people like Ant-Man, Spider-Man, and the Black Panther, the way they brought them in was excellent because it wasn't like they were just thrown into the mix, but they were actually part of the story and the way that they brought them in, the backstory of each one of them each one of them really made them a part of the movie and I'm gonna tell you the airport scene awesome and then Ant-Man made it even better he made the airport scene go from being a great scene to an awesome scene in the movie so you gotta wait for that part right there you're gonna love it you're gonna love it you're gonna love it but the way they told the story and see here's the thing the the idea of the story is really about friendships and choosing and everybody's like all up in their feelings in this movie. Like Iron Man's all up in his feelings and, and this, this woman gets to him because she shows him a picture of her, her son died, who died in, in uh, Sokovia. And you know, the Scarlet Witch, she's all up in her feelings about it. And, and you know, and the way Cap is about Bucky and Bucky about Cap and you know, uh, T'Challa's father dies and how he is, you know, everybody's all up in their feelings and not just seeing the reality of what the government is trying to do and not even seeing the reality of the story plot. Like, I'm watching the movie and without being emotionally caught up into the movie, I can tell kind of, sort of, you know, what was going on and who the real villain was, but, and you know, you're watching it from a movie, so you kind of see some of that anyway, but even if I wasn't, you can still kind of tell why, because I wasn't all up in my feelings. So the movie really showed how when you're all caught up into your feelings, you really don't, your perception is, is off. Your, the way you see things, the way you see the world, the way you see how people are responding, reacting, all those things are off because your perception is, is engineered by pure emotion and no logic. Right, and so this is the thing that creates the whole issue with Civil War. And when Iron Man finds out some information towards the end, I mean, he really goes off like on the deep end, and so does Cap, and uh, and they almost kill each other. So, I mean, it's, it's awesome. But there's a lot of you, you you see they pulled a lot of emotional strings in this movie with each character from Black Widow, everybody. You know, it was just really pulling on the strings, and. Um, but the movie is really, it's also about control. You see, the government sometimes wants to control you by implementing systems. You know, we're in a, an election year here in America, and with the government, whether it's Democrats or Republicans, it's about control. How are we going to control the people? And one of the things that Captain America talks about is if we got up under this system of control, then as politics change, the control over us will change and we won't be our own persons. We won't have freedom of choice anymore because it's, it's taken by political agendas and they change consistently. And so you got that kind of deal going, but that's also something that you have in your life, you know. You're going to give control to the Republicans, you're going to give control to the Democrats when ultimately the best hands that you can possibly be in is your own. Now, another thing about the movie is a lot about redemption. Winter Soldier did a lot of things messed up in his past. Captain America did something that was messed up in his past. Everybody has, well, not everybody, but the main characters had some issue that they did in the past that they were trying to redeem themselves. Even in the midst of the fight, Black Widow had an issue in the middle of the fight to redeem herself. But there was one funny part when... Um, Black Widow and, and, and Hawkeye was fighting and it was like, we still friends, right? <laughs> and he said, it depends on how hard you hit me. So I thought that part was pretty cool. But then Wanda like helps him out and she's like, you're pulling your punches. Why? Because they're emotionally tied up into this, you know, battle, but they're still friends. So, you know, it had a lot of things about redemption, people trying to redeem themselves for their past actions. And then also because people died in the movie, there was a revenge factor. You know, even the villain had a revenge. His whole drive was revenge. Um, there was revenge with uh, with Iron Man. There was revenge with T'Challa. There was revenge with um, Bucky. Everything had a revenge. There was a lot of revenge components, but T'Challa made a great statement towards the end where he said that he, all these people, all this has happened because people are being consumed by their revenge. And he chose at that moment to not allow that revenge to consume him anymore. And his father had just died. 
So and you know and and, and as far as the movie time frame, over like the last thirty six hours, his dad had just died. So it was like he chose not to allow allow revenge to consume him. And then the last part is doing or being what's right regardless of the majority. That is like one of the biggest messages of the movie. Captain America is facing a situation where he knows he's right, but the majority of the world is against him. The majority of people in power, I should say, are against him. Sometimes in your life, you got to do the thing that you know is right. You got to stand up for what's right. You got to be what's right. You got to act on the right way. You got to stand up for something or stand up for someone but you, or stand up for yourself. But you got to do the right thing for the right reason. Although the majority of people may be against it, you have to stand up for it. And that's one of the things that Captain America did, even to the point of dropping his shield. Because he would drop his shield in order to make sure he was standing up for the right thing, whether it was standing up for Bucky, whether it was standing up for freedom, whether it was standing up for choice, whether it was standing up for finding the right person, the right enemy. No matter what it was, it was a choice of standing up for the right thing, even when everyone else was against it. So you may have things that you have to stand up for, even when everyone else thinks is against it. And it might not just be that. You may have a business that you want to start, but everyone else is against it, but you need to go start that business. You may want to marry this person, but everyone else is against it. But maybe for you, you need to marry that person. You need to go live somewhere that's different and everybody's against it. And you just need to go and move and live in that new place. It's all about you being able to stand up for what you know is right. Now, my greatness is non-negotiable, and so is yours. So this is Uncle Ren's at Uncle Ren's Popcorn for the deep diving movie review, where we had 25 different great flavors of great popcorn. Order online.